Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, growing up in Hong Kong, lived right next to the ocean, I ate a lot of fish. Eating fish is a tradition that are maintained by many uh, cultures that live next to water. Now, there are many different kinds of uh, fish, and cooking fish could be a challenge because the texture of the fish is very important. And if the fish is either undercooked or overcooked, uh, the result usually is less than desirable. In this video, I would like to show you a template for cooking fish. Uh, this template can apply to almost all different kinds of white fish, where the fish has a relatively mild flavor. I first season the fish with my basic seasoning mix, uh, which is a mild seasoning agent uh, to add umami flavor. Uh, this will enhance the natural flavor of the fish. And then I coat the fish with a thin layer of cornstarch. The cornstarch serves two different roles. The first role is that the cornstarch will create a light crispy breading. Uh, the second uh, function of the cornstarch is that it will protect the fish against the heat of the wok so that the fish will not overcook. In this video, I'm going to use a fish known as swai. I'm going to cook this fish in my Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok. I'm going to use a method commonly referred to as shallow frying. As why it's very popular in Southeast Asia, particularly in Vietnam and other Mekong area regions. It is a well-known area for uh, aquaculture, and swai is cultivated in large scale. It has reached great popularity over the past several decades, but then uh, there are concerns about the method of cultivation and also the level of mercury uh, in the fish. After I season the wok with my spa seasoning method, I add the swite a piece at a time uh, and lay them flat on the surface of the wok. Uh, this will allow me to fry on one side of the fish first uh, before I turn it over to fry the other side. Uh, this method, known as shallow frying, uh, is very efficient. It will create a crispy texture of the breading of the fish, but at the same time, uh, it will reduce the amount of oil that you use to fry the fish. The light breading will give the fish a nice texture, but at the same time, because the breading is very light, it will also provide less calories. One can purchase frozen soy filet, and then I thaw them out, and I cut them into smaller pieces so that they will be fried readily. And because of the concern of the fishing approach of swai, uh, people worry about the presence of antibiotics in the fish. Uh, so for a number of years, the popularity of swai has greatly declined. And now with more stringent environmental control and uh, the testing of the contamination of the swai fish has up in its scale. And the reason for that swai has regained some of its popularity, and now you start to find them in the supermarket again, particularly in Asian supermarkets. And in here, I fry about uh, six ounces of swai. I cut them into thin slices. Uh, consequently, they can fry very rapidly. In less than uh, 50 seconds, uh, one side of the swai already uh, reached a golden brown color. Uh, this nice texture is the result of the coating uh, with cornstarch as well as the basic seasoning mix. The combination of the cornstarch as well as the basic seasoning mix gives swai an excellent flavor and texture. This simple method can be applied to any type of white fish. And if you have never uh, tried this method before, you'll be surprised how good it is. This is an excellent template, and you can apply this to many different types of white fish. It works very well with talapi, small mouth, large mouth, crappie, and other common white fish that you might caught in the river or purchase from the supermarket. After I flip over the swipe to fry the other side, I add some portobello mushroom uh, to the wok. Now, the portobello mushroom uh, was added for two purposes. 
The first purpose is that the polymeric mushroom is great uh, to absorb all the oil that are present on in the wok. Now there's a little bit residual oil from frying, and uh, to keep the swine a uh, taste less oily, one simple approach is to add mushroom. Of course, you can add other type of mushroom as well. A white mushroom will work also. A mushroom is uh, very quote unquote hungry for oil. Anytime you add mushroom uh, to oil, the oil just suck up by the mushroom. Because of this, it makes the mushroom's texture much more pleasant and uh, uh, interesting. Now I switch to my wok spatula uh, to stir fry everything together. Uh, as you can see, um, as I stir fry, the mushrooms start to pick up the oil. It is truly a great cooking technique. Uh, the mushroom tastes better with the oil. And the fish tastes better when it's less oily. And next, I add some scallion. The scallion will provide interesting contrast to the mushroom and the swai. The mushroom and the swai give that rich, oily flavor of the dish. But the scallion will give it this fresh, natural flavor. As you can see here, cooking this dish is very fast. Uh, it took only uh, about five minutes. Uh, in summary, the key step of this template is to coat the fish uh, with basic seasoning mix and cornstarch. The next step is to shallow fry the fish. Uh, this is followed by the addition of mushroom. Like I said, any kind of mushroom will do. Uh, this will pick up the oil from the dish and make the fish taste better. And finally, you can add uh, some vegetable. Uh, in this case, I add some scallion. But other type of light vegetable could be also added. One vegetable that I often use uh, is uh, romaine lettuce. Uh, this template actually has a very large margin of error. It can tolerate uh, a lot of uh, mistakes. And because by coating with cornstarch, you can always maintain uh, the moisture of the fish. Uh, furthermore, uh, is that uh, when you use this template, uh, you can cook the dish very quickly. Uh, in general, in about five to six minutes. If you prep your fish in advance by cutting them into small pieces before you freeze them, uh, you can go from freezer to the wok in about ten minutes or less. So, if you're in a hurry and you got home, you want something quick. Uh, why combining advanced prepping and using the template for stir-frying this fish, uh, you can have a meal on the table in about 10 to 15 minutes. I post a video each day to help people to make home cooking as part of their daily routine using my fast cooking system. Uh, if you like to learn more about this cooking system, as well as to adopt the cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.